Jimi Hendrix, considered to be the greatest and most influential rock guitarist, often gets left out of discussions on artists that have had a great impact on R&B and funk. But if you look with more discerning and discriminate eyes, you will see that not only was Jimi Hendrix a pillar of funk, but he was also funk's missing link. Jimi Hendrix started as a professional musician on the R&B chitlin circuit, backing up various R&B artists ranging from Wilson Pickett, Curtis Knight, the Isley Brothers, and Little Richard, to name a few. His role in most groups was to play the background as a sideman. He was to keep the rhythm and nothing more. His soloing would surface from time to time on recordings like UT with Rosalie Brooks and Testify by the Osley Brothers. But the world wouldn't really experience his talents until he was groomed as a rock superstar in England. He would have incorporated the electric guitar more in the arrangements of the groups he was in. However, he was always chided for being too loud or flashy. Fast forward to 1969, which saw Sly and the Family Stone getting major play on rock and R&B stations with a brand of funk that incorporated more rock elements. They are often given more credit in the funk world than Jimi Hendrix for bridging the worlds of R&B and rock to become pillars of funk music. But how do you get from James Brown's brand of funk to the 70s style complex guitar flavored funk put forth by the likes of Ernie Osley, Eddie Hazel, and a slew of funk bands like Slave, Fazo, Sun, and Mandrill. Sly and the Family Stone wasn't bending those strings like that. If you really want to find a missing link that bridged the old funk to the heavy guitar funk that took off in the 70s, you have to examine Jimi Hendrix and the Band of Gypsies. The world of funk and R&B would never be the same again when the Band of Gypsies' four concerts and subsequent double platinum album hit the consciousness of musicians and music lovers. Funk was advanced to the point where the guitar could have free reign to explore over driving R&B and funk beats. This is why so many musicians cite the band of Gypsies as a major influence on their thinking, playing, and attitude towards genreless music. The band of Gypsies, with Jimmy's superb range and tone, utilizing various pedal effects, was the jolt that funk and R&B needed to go to the next level. All you have to do is listen to the Band of Gypsies DNA embedded within the 70s recordings of the Osley Brothers, P-Funk, Earth, Wind and Fire, the Ohio Players, Slave, and even later on, Prince and Lenny Kravitz. The proof is in the pudding. Jimi Hendrix and the Band of Gypsies are not only pillars in the formation of modern funk, but they also should be recognized as the missing link that advanced minimalistic guitar funk to the funk that embraced the electric guitar fully. So Jimi Hendrix's legacy should never be reduced to just his rock or blues exploits, but you also have to recognize him as a candidate for the Mount Rushmore of funk. For a deeper exploration of topics like this, check out my latest book, Jimi Hendrix, Black Legacy, A Dream Deferred.